Hello everybody, welcome back to Cure for the Common Game. Today in deck number 395, we're going to talk about Sig River Guide. Y'all have to excuse me, my voice does sound a little different. Been Got that crud has been going around, y'all know how it is. So Sig, uh, two mana, two, two island walk's not bad. And then, you know, for two mana, you can give one of your merfolk protection from the color of your choice, which is... is is a pretty good ability for a commander. Now, the problem with Sig River Guy is he just, a lot of people just build him as fish. Just straight merfolk. And while that's kind of the only way to do it, I kind of took mine in a little different way. Sig is in Lorwyn. Sig is not a planeswalker. Sig only knows what's happening on Lorwyn. So I kept it Lorwyn Block. Now, uh, when I say Lorwyn Block, it's actually Lorwyn Shadowmoor Block. They did, uh, it, they kind of tied it together. It was um, kind of a yin-yang type world. Uh, Lorwyn Morning Tide, Shadowmoor Eventide. Those were the only four sets I used in the deck. So let's get to it. The Obviously, there is a ton of creatures. So we're just going to roll through some creatures real quick. Um, more or less all of the blue and the white merfolk you know some were auto includes of course the the banneret the harbinger silver gill out the effort was so good they brought it back you know uh, but there's the thing about merfolk is you just gotta have merfolk you know deep channel mentor Blue creatures you control are unblockable. What? Yeah. So there's a, a lot of bodies. Most of them are cheap. You know, some of them cost five, but they do that on purpose because of, of the abilities that they have. You know. Meryl Regery. This was actually the last card I was waiting for to get in to complete the deck. And I didn't know it was the DCI promo. I was thinking that it was the the actual card from Lorwyn because I didn't pay attention, to be honest with you. But either way, it's in there. Just lots of... And the untap, untapped mechanic was also through... What was that? Just Shadowmoor Eventide? Didn't get a lot of love because there wasn't a real good way to tap them without putting them in danger in combat. But now we got vehicles and stuff. So the schoolmaster, whenever it becomes tapped, you get a token. I mean, and then I didn't feel like that was enough actual merfolks, and this was the block that did have changelings in it. So. I said, you know what, let's go, let's go the Changeling route with Mothta, Shapeshare, Amoeboid, Avon, and Changeling Hero. Now, we've got, I did roll through those creatures pretty quick. There's a bunch of them. Uh, but sorcery-wise, I, I have this group by card type. Sorcery-wise, this was also the one and only block that gave us Tribal, which I like. I like the fact that uh, the reason why I like Tribal is that Harbinger can go get a Merfolk card. Well, this is a Merfolk card, so it can go and find the sorcery. That's the beautiful part about it. Just like your Elvish one can go get the Elvish Promenade. But, whoa. Whoa. This is just a token-making machine. Of course, we got Mindspring for our card draw. This was the very first time that they ever gave us Mindspring. Distant Melody, another really good card draw in a tribal deck. And, of course, Fathom Trawl. Now we've got Enchantment, so we're going to start off with another tribal enchantment that is going to get fuzzy on us. It's so cool. Into your turn, untap all your merfolk. So it triggers all your untappy stuff, and you can tap them all again to do shenanigans. And yeah, it's a good time. Thought reflection. 
just doubles that card draw. That's pretty good. Steal the Godhead. Recumbent Bliss. Weight of Conscience. Curse of Chains. Kind of our... Uh, and then... Um, unblockable and Shroud seems really, really strong. Yeah. Now, Door of Destinies is going to pump up our entire team, obviously. Um... Diviner's Wand, just because most of our uh, Merfolk are wizards. And the Springleaf Drum. The Springleaf Drum, I've got in there more for the ability to tap those other creatures with the untap ability than to produce the mana itself. Next, we got Instance, and there's a bunch of them. I guess we'll go with counter magic first. You know, we've got the negate, spell siphon, familiar's ruse. Like I said, I, I, we are only using cards from the Lorwyn block, so there's a lot of stuff that we just don't have access to, like good old fashioned counter spell. We got broken ambitions though, dream fracture, scattering stroke. Now, coordinated barrage is pretty decent, you know. Yeah, it's only attacking or blocking creature, but, you know. Next snap. Yeah. Yeah, you got to be hurting to run a next snap. But in a block deck, you know, hey, that's what we got. Endure. Turn to Mist. Now, Turn to Mist, I really like. It, 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 it just, it saves one of your guys. That, that's what it really does. Thought Wef Gambit. This is a good old fashioned beating. The ability to tap everything everybody else has got and untap all yours, that's a beating right there. Swell of Courage. X 1 1 counters on target creature. I mean, it's probably what we're going to do. It. We're probably going to reinforce it. And then our last card is Mirror Weave. Now, if you've got a ton of tokens out there and you draw a mirror weave and you've got, oh my gosh, like the Meryl Regeray, if you can turn your entire team into a Meryl Regeray, that just gets exponentially dumb. So, that is what I have got for Sig, uh, River Guide, because it's all Lorwyn Block and... I don't know. They say restrictions breed creativity. I didn't want to just build just another Merfolk deck. I love Tribal. Don't get me wrong. I do. Y'all know that. But uh, Merfolk and Elves and Dragons. I'm, uh, you know, looking for something different now. But I do appreciate y'all watching. Y'all let me know what you think. But right now, I think it's time for Shuffle and Cut.